Thank you for caring about me. For real. No, man. You know, whatever is going on between Tato and Norman, we'll definitely find out sooner or later. Because the way these two people just all of a sudden moved from, you know, being friends in the house to almost being lovers, or should I say Norman putting in so much effort to becoming Tato's lover, I'm wondering that, dear Norman, what exactly is your newest strategy? What exactly are you playing at? Let's get into the video. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. Now, before we get on with this video, two major things, guys. Two very important things. Please, whatever we do, let's have Ukraine in our prayers. I was following the news last night. I have been following the news anyways, and last night was just so scary. It was really scary. I saw the number, the massive amount of people that were stranded at the train stations, the wreckage. Guys, that is war going on right there. So let's just pray for them. I don't, I don't even know what to say more than that. Let's just pray for them. Second thing is, um, today is Saturday and you know we're going to be having our FSWG YouTube live stream on this channel. It happens 3 p.m. WAT every Saturday or 4 p.m. CAT or whichever part of the world you are based. Please use Google World Clock to check the time that aligns with yours, all right? I already mentioned to you all that we will be hosting BU and Zeno from the ongoing Big Brother and Zamzi season three show. So um, make it a date with us. Come through guys, 3 p.m. on lockdown. If you have questions, if you have anything you want to know about these two people, today is that opportunity, all right? Now that said, let's now get into the video. So last night, the housemates were in a very, very good mood. Yes, everybody was in high spirits. They were super excited because of course it's Friday, which is officially the start of the weekend. I mean, guys, whenever this housemates finish their weekly major task on Thursdays, they are super relieved and excited because from that evening onwards, they have the liberty, you know, to just leave, to just breathe, to just do whatever they want to do. Unlike the other days of the week that it's pretty much choked up for, for them because of their rehearsals and, you know, preparations, tasks, activities and all whatnot and also last night biggie had actually given them a lot of alcohol um courtesy of Mibo winning the arena games last night and had also given them different surprise packages they had a lot of meat a lot of steak a lot of um is it uh, what do they call it? is it um, rib bones or whatever guys biggie just gave them a lot of goodies and they were super excited because there was enough food to go around. Prior to yesterday, most of they had been hungry in that house. It was an almost hunger strike situation because they had to utilize most of the provisions for food, you know, to execute their um, weekly wager presentation, which was a cooking show. So um, they were super excited and they ate a lot last night. Now with the food came with a lot of conversations about sex which i would rather not even go into because guys these housemates they literally talked about the unimaginable terry and um sister mara and Dumpo. they were in their elements talking about using dildos talking about in our sex guys they talked about everything every single thing and <laughs> It's like giving Temba a boner that Temba literally had to leave them at the dining area where they were talking and said, you know what, you probably not going to put me in trouble. So he had to leave. But aside that, whilst that conversation was going on at the dining, there was another conversation that was going on in the room downstairs between, of course, the four shenanigans. I'm talking about Yoli and Temba, no, Yoli, Gashwan, Tato and Norman. And guys, something quite interesting also happened again last night so finally tools moved from his bed space upstairs to be used bed space downstairs guys when i saw that happened two things came to my mind as to why tools you know took up that huge leap of change now number one could it be that he's running away from terry's moanings during her sex capades with vinyl because guys to be very honest Terry can be very loud sometimes and I can totally imagine Tools' reasons for running if that is it because the one that was actually really worse, yes, was the one that happened Thursday night. I did a video about it. 
Terry and Vinyl were in their element, guys. Terry was literally moaning and it wasn't even light out at that time. Then when it was light out, oh my God, Tools could not sleep. He was so disturbed. He was so distracted. And guys, I could clearly understand because guys, come on, these people, they are in a confined space, right? And Tools is a man. You know, hearing such kind of sound, it would definitely cause some stirrings in his loins. It would definitely cause him to get aroused. It would definitely cause him to want to do things as well. It would make him horny. Let's just call it spade a spade. It would make him horny. It would make him restless. And you know, these people, they've not, they've not smashed in weeks. So the temptation, I feel, for twos was getting too high. The room was getting too steamy and too uncomfortable. And to be very honest, guys, I feel like in as much as um, Vino and Terry, they want to consummate their situationship, I just feel like sometimes they get really insensitive. You know, I mean, the housemates, they are flesh and blood. So you can't expect them to just stay and not be aroused whilst you are doing all of those things that you're doing. Number two, could it be that Tuz is trying to form new alliances with the people downstairs? Because, hey, look at it this way. Um, there's a pattern with the show. One, one person leaves one week, the next week two people leaves, the next week one person leaves, the next week two people leaves, and now this is another week. Remember last week, BU and Zeno were evicted from the house. Now this week, I have a feeling that it's just gonna be one housemate that will be evicted from the house. So I'm thinking, could it be that Tools is trying to form new alliances with the, you know, with the housemates downstairs? Because of course, it, it's quite obvious that the, the, um, the housemates downstairs, they are fully aware that there was a gang up. There was some sort of conspiracy, you know, amongst all the, the housemates upstairs to eliminate all of them so that they will now focus on the game alone and compete amongst themselves upstairs. So I'm thinking, could it be that Tools decided to immediately, you know, start creating that bond, that friendship with them from Friday night as against Sunday's eviction and then Monday's nomination, guys, what do you think? I mean, all of these things, I am just racking my brains and thinking about it. I am not certain, but I'm very, very sure that Tools is definitely running away from Terry's moanings, yes. But about the other one, I'm suspecting you know, if that is also part, part of the plan, if he's just using um, the first excuse as, you know, reason for the second excuse. I don't know, guys, but let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. Now, let's move on to whatever is going on between Norman and Tato. Yeah, yeah you're a great person, eh? You're a wonderful person. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop it. No, man, you the first one and then the second one. Yeah. yeah. Now, we all know that Norman and Tato, they started off as friends, right? They started off as friends, they cuddle buddies, gist partners, and then all of a sudden, Norman is up for nomination for possible eviction this week. And before we knew it, Norman started making romantic advances, um, situationship advances, because it's definitely not love advances guys in my opinion but no mistake making romantic advances at tato trying to get kisses trying to get cuddles and trying to play some you know beneath the sheets kind of games that mommy and daddy does at night and i'm wondering like okay norman i mean guys i'm sorry but listen when it comes to norman and love and romance in that house i'm sorry i am one of those people that would never believe because that guy is just too smart and just too strategic and just too too conniving, too strategic, competitive for such concerns. I just feel like Norman is just one of those male housemates that came to the house with a focus to, you know, win the money. And that is that. Yes, that is that. I mean, at the beginning of the week, in the first and second week, he made advances at um, Terry and Venice. And then because Venice turned him down, he started beefing BU. I mean, obviously he was beefing BU because of that. But then I'm thinking like, okay, what is going on? No man, what exactly do you want from Tato? And guys, somehow I feel scared for Tato because I feel like she's allowing herself to fall into Norman's strategy. Yeah, I mean, we know Tato's situation in the house. She's been rejected by different guys, yes, and she's always had to explain herself constantly that, oh, I like you, but this is this. I like you, I know you like me, this is that. You know, so it's made her look like 
she's kind of desperate for a relationship in the house or she's desperate for the men's attention in the house and then all of a sudden norman who is just a friend cuddle buddy is now giving her romantic attention and the thing is sweet time yeah it makes her excited she gets all giggly you know it's making her feel more and more feminine around him but guys i have my own doubts my own reservations about all of it i just feel like it's not in any way genuine but hey i would love to know what you think so go ahead let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as i end this video on this note don't forget 3 p.m we have a date we are going to play host to be you and Zeno. um don't miss out i will see you guys soon have an amazing day bye